Hey guys, this is Brandon Biggs, and today we're going to take a look at Materia Magica, which is a MUD, which stands for Multi-User Dungeon, or Multi-User Domain, depending on who you ask. And Materia Magica, in particular, is a medieval fantasy MUD that takes place in the world of Illyria, and there are... Uh, quite a few different um, continents. I think there's seven continents or something like that, and uh, I'm not, I don't don't uh, don't quote me on that. But there's a lot of continents, and um, there's a lot of different uh, towns and um, creatures, and I think there's three different planes as well. There's uh, well, there's the the fairy plane, and then there's um, this world, and then there's the underground. Anyways. Um, but uh, so it's a very very huge world, and you can get um, uh, you can you can do a lot of things. Anyways, so um, a mud is basically completely text based, and everything that you do is through typing on a client. So there are two main clients for visually impaired people to play muds. One is called VIP mud which is from GMA Games, and that one is specifically built for blind people. Uh, sighted people can use it too, but it's particularly built for people with screen readers, and um, I think it even works with the braille display uh, with your screen reader. Anyways, uh, the second one is uh, more built for uh, everybody, and uh, has some particular scripts to make it accessible, and that's called Mush Client. And Materia Magica um, uh, has a uh, specific plugin uh, that customizes the client just for Materia Magica. And um, so that's what I'm using today. Uh, and so I'll be um, saying some of the key commands and, um, and uh, as, as we go through. And um, I'll be showing some of the cool sounds that are a part of this, um, this whole uh, MUD experience. So to move through the mud, you press the cardinal directions like no, N for north, W for west, east for E for east, uh, S for south, SW for southwest, U for up, you know, stuff like that. So um, right now, I am sleeping at the safe zone, which is basically, um, there was a sound you heard it was somebody uh, entering a relay channel. Anyways, um, which is you can talk with other players here. So um there's usually around 60 players or 40 players on Materia Magica, depending on the day and the time and everything that's going on. So, um, anyways, I'm going to uh, to get up and we're going to go do a quest. And um, I've got a couple quests that I'm uh, doing and um, we'll, we'll do both of them. So, um, I'm going to... Uh, go ahead and stand up. I'm currently sleeping, which is how you regenerate, but um, it's also so you can not you hey. need to see all the extra spam and stuff like that that goes on. Uh, all the all the stuff that goes on, you'll see. Alright, so, stand up. T-T-S. ST, wake and stand up. Shrine of ST, wise heart, who, a scrumptious blueberry danish is here, who, a nice piranha wind has been left here, a loaf of bread is here. You can hear all the different um, things that are here, and I'm going to go ahead and look, which is how you can get a detailed description of the room. So this is the Shrine of St. Wiseheart. I'm going to type L and um, enter. L. Shrine of ST Wiseheart. This is the Shrine of ST Wiseheart, a beautifully crafted structure made of cherry wood. The wood has been polished to a glossy sheen. There is a small altar here covered with carvings of the mythical Pekakan. Among tens, this shrine offers services of healing to anyone who is needful. Type shop list to see the list of services that Brother Rufus has to offer you. Or look Rufus to see what information he has for you. Too. A scrumptious blueberry danish is here. Too. A nice piranha fillet has been left here. A loaf of bread is here. It doesn't look too stale. Too. A whey bread has been left here. A hunk of cheese has been left here. A twisty baguette has been left here. A tender young turnip has been left here. Someone has left several delicious looking clams here. A piping hot cinnamon roll is here. It looks delicious. A large cut in the corner of the room offers comfort and a good Shop brother Rufus is here attending to the shrine. Type look Rufus. All right, so uh, you you saw a lot of the stuff that was here. It's mostly food on the ground, so I can take this food and eat it. Take. Um, let's see which I take. take. Sin. You see no sin before you here. Take. Sin. You take a cinnamon roll. There we go. Take the cinnamon roll and I can eat it. Eat. Sin. You eat a cinnamon roll. And um, nothing really happens. It's just you eat a cinnamon roll, and um, yeah. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, check out what I need to do for this quest. So quest. Quest. 
info. Info, twist number 1392. The Mason of Ami, three slash six goals, edit multi line, blank. Um, so I just pressed Control Alt Space, which is the toggle between the output and input windows of Mush Client. Blank. Type quests, a total of four quests. This is an achievement. This quest has no time. Quest number 1389. The four towers, zero. This is an This quest has no quest number 1388. Atrascus, search of Mason of Ami, zero slash. So 3088 is the one I want to go. Q, U, number 30, Atrascus, number 1388. Edit multi line, blank, so global hint, heavy weapons. So. Quest, quest in info 3088. 1388. This quest 1388 is called Atrascus. Skirt. Edit right. multi line. Blank. So, um, we, we can go ahead and read about this quest. Blank. Face, 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 face. At this note upon the long start, start all the new contexts. Rose of the fleet beast again. Of the late day of the under watch. This is an achievement for a disc global hint. Heavy whip. This quest 1388 is called Atrascus. Scourge of Laser of Valley. For adventurers levels 5 to 19. This is an achievement. The gold Atrascus. This is an achievement. The gold quests must be completed. Atrascus. Atrascus. The king crab resides in the lake east of Laysla in a dark, dingy underwater lair. The denizens of Laysla Valley have suffered attacks from the beast constantly over the last few weeks, both at night and during the day. Livestock have disappeared. Were later found floating on the surface of the lake. Travelers have disappeared. Called under never to be seen again. The villagers are resilient, fighting off continuous attacks by the beast, but they cannot hold out forever. If you will take on the challenge of defeating this monster, visit the following characters along the high road in Laysla Valley. They will be able to tell you about their experiences with the beast and guide you. You can turn this quest in at any quest master, including Master Evan or Lord of Ripper. Do this by typing. Quest complete 3088 in their presence. Star Atrascus is located in the lake east of Laysla Village in the valley. Star Anoka Gypsy, a grieving mother and a novice Lutomancer can be found along the high road in the valley. Upon successful completion of this quest, the quest master will show notable appreciation for your efforts. This quest has no time limit. Atrascus, Scourge of Laysla Valley, Phase 1. Help a down on the luck Oga Gypsy achieve fame and fortune. Alright, so I actually visited these people before I started here. And um, so the Gypsy wants me to kill three Gypsies. Phase 2. Bring closure to a grieving mother and return her daughter's painting. The closure of um, the grieving mother um, is there's a, a, a creature in the caverns called a Zorn, and he uh, needs to be killed. Phase 3. Open the way for the novice Lutomancer's investigation of Atrascus's lake. Uh, and uh, the Lutomancer, um, which is a, a little boy who... Brother Rufus um, begins casting a spell. Sorry. Which is a little boy who uh, who's like a dust uh, wizard, I guess. Uh, anyway, so he... He uh, needs me to uh, get a doll from a girl, a little bratty girl, uh, a dirty doll. Phase four, hidden until previous goal is completed. All right, and I don't know what that one is. Blank. Which I'm pretty sure is probably kill the crab. But um, anyways. Type on the numbers. Edit multi line. Blank. So Brother let's Rufus go. Completed. Let's go and um and uh, kill some Your gypsies, I guess. W. You leave feeling refreshed. N. Village of Laysla, a faded right, yellow page so of... so I'm going north, now I'm, I'm going to the west. Actually, I'm going to go ahead... W. Yeah. Village of Laysla, an overloaded wooden cart is... Part. And I'm going to go ahead and go to the south and, and let you see what it's like to hit a wall. Yes, you cannot move in that direction. So it sounds like a gun being cocked or something like that, and um, that's what happens when you hit a wall. So I can move pretty fast and um, and hear that if I if I hit a wall. W. Village of Laysla, W. Village of Laysla, a sign of the wooden... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and... Speak type words off. Speak type characters on du village of lace W village of lace W. You cannot move in that direct end. Village of lace a flickering end. Outside the cemetery, a well is here filled in. Village of lace a wooden sign N. An overgrown path. N. An overgrown path. N. An overgrown path. A wooden sign points northeast, denoting here in caverns. A wounded villager is here, resting at the side of the path. M. A wounded villager grimaces, clutching his bloodied leg. A wounded villager says, Another traveler, please, you must help me. I've been attacked by some monsters from inside the caverns. A wounded villager says, Hurry back to the village and let Irvin know what has happened. One of Rufus's assistants is on their way to fix me up, so don't worry. Perhaps you can tell Irvin about the monsters attacking villagers. Alright, cool. N. E. A rocky place. N. Base of the mountain. Now we can actually look around and see what's here if I type L. L. Base of the mountain. You have finally reached the base of the mountain where the gearing caverns are located. The ground here is very rocky, making for treacherous travel. There is a boulder just ahead of you that appears to be covering an opening. Maybe you can open it if you try. It might be the entrance to the caverns, which are supposed to be in the base of the mountains. All right, cool. So I know that um, that uh, we need um, torches for this. So I'm going to check my inventory by pressing I. I. You are carrying a microfan, a cornstalk, a small green leaf, new, a dirty ebony scroll, new, a stainless steel jewel, new, an intricate pocket watch, new, a whispering note, a cheap glass sextant, new, a leather backpack, new, a novice guide, new, a fresh moonstone, a magical belt pouch, new, a woven silver bag, new, a woven gold bag, new, a yellow silk bag, new, a red silk bag, new, a blue silk bag, new, a black silk bag, new, a total of 19 items weighing 4 stones, 0 pebbles, 0 PB gold, D, R, O, P, space. And go ahead and drop the guide because I don't need it. G, U, I, D. You drop a novice guide, I. You are carrying a microfan, a cornstalk, a small green leaf, D-R-O-P space, C-O-R-N. You drop a cornstalk. 
All right. And... I. You are carrying a microfan, a small green leaf, new, a dirty ebony scroll, new, a stainless steel jewel, new, an intricate pocket watch, new, D. R. O. P. S. T. E. E. L. You drop a stainless steel jewel. I. You are carrying a microfan, a small green leaf, new, a dirty ebony scroll, new, an intricate... Oh. And uh, that... Is Edit multi line. Land. The man becomes. You may carry the man becomes alive as the sun breaks free of the horizon. Yep. Edit multi line. Land. Cool. I. You are carrying a micro fan, a small green leaf, new, a dirty ebony scroll, new, an intricate pocket watch, new, a whispering note, a cheap glass sextant, new, a leather backpack, new, a fresh moonstone, a mat D R O P space A O P E. You drop a whisper O P E S space. Space N E P O G E T space. A L L dot T O R C A space A C K. You take three of a torch from a leather backpack. All right, and um, e. E. and uh, yeah, so I think that's what I need. So I'm going to go ahead and... Ed, having just entered the ahead. caverns, you wonder what adventures await you here. In trance to daring caverns, a partially burned torch has been dropped in the dust. T A K E space O R N S H. I might need this torch. You take a partially burned torch. Ed, a sloping tunnel. A little girl is here behaving like a spoiled rat. A little girl is here behaving like a spoiled rat. A right. little girl is here... So I need to actually attack one of these. And I am a, I'm a warrior, little um, and so uh, and I'm a dragon. So basically, I'm a drag, half dragon, half human creature, and I can breathe fire. And um, I'm a warrior, so I'm super strong and have a lot of uh, strength, I guess. So um, I also aliased uh, B to be Bash. So um, I'm actually going to alias K to be Bash as well. A L I A S. So you just type space. alias K, K space B A S H Bash. And you have alias K to perform action bash. All right, cool. So now I can type K, K space girl. T I R L. You bash a little brat over the head with a wooden practice shield. A little brat has been slain. Your bash knocks a little brat's head against the rock so hard. All right, and uh, describes um, that I uh, killed her. And now I'm going to look in her corpse. L O O K space R space O R P S E. The corpse of a little brat contains a rag doll, new, a partially burned torch, new, unlit, 26 gold coins. T E T space A L S space 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 C O R P S E. You take 26 gold coins. You take a rag doll from the corpse of a little brat. You take a partially burnt torch from the corpse of a little brat. You watch horrified as a pool of blood. S-A-C space. C-O-R-P-S-E. The power gave you one gold coin for your sack. N. A sloping tunnel. A little girl is here behaving like a spoiled brat. A little girl. You cannot move in the A cavernous passage. E. A cavernous passage. A mongrel dog is growling at you. 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 E. A cavernous passage. A goldenly dressed gypsy is here predicting the future. A goldenly dressed gypsy. G. G. K. Space. G. You bash a gypsy over the head with a wooden practice shield. You enter into combat with a gypsy. You hit, so, you hit a gypsy once, missing zero, and she defends zero. Um, which is uh, basically um, the rounds, so let's listen to one. You hit a gypsy zero, missing once, and she defends zero, leaving her at 15%. You are hit once, are missed zero, and defend zero. You hit a gypsy zero, missing once, and she defends zero, leaving her at 16%. You are hit zero, are missed once, and defend zero. You hit a gypsy zero, missing once, and she defends zero, leaving her at 16%. You are hit zero, are missed. Alright, I'm going to go see what that was. Edit multi line. Blank. A gypsy collapses lifeless to the ground. You receive 500 experience points. A gypsy has been slain. A down on her luck gypsy tells you good work. That's one of three me wanted killed. Uh, okay. So the gypsy, um, the down on her luck gypsy messaged me. Edit multi line. Blank. So I'm going to look at Fortune called. Come on. Come all. L. Local hint. Please remove. Oh, okay. Stay. I. S. C. O. R. P. S. E. Is somebody whispering to me? The corpse of a gypsy contains 50 gold coins. G. E. T. Space. A. L. S. C. O. R. P. S. E. You take 50 gold coins. S. A. C. Space. O. R. P. S. E. The power gave you one gold coin for your sacrifice of the corpse of a gypsy. Cool, so I'm gonna go and attack another gypsy. I have another, um, I'm gonna breathe fire at this one. F. Space. G. You breathe also come to fire. Attacking, you. attacking you. You hit a gypsy once, missing Z. A. You hit a gypsy zero, missing once, and she defends zero, leaving her at 74%. You are hit zero, are missed once, and defend zero. You bash a gypsy over the head with a wooden practice shield. You hit a gypsy zero, missing once, and she defends. Alright, cool, and I can actually check my health really easy by pressing Alt to U. 100%. And then I can also check my M mana. 44%. And my energy. 42%. Alright, so. G. And let's um, get uh, all the stuff here. Okay, let's look at the L O okay, space I space O R P S E. The corpse of a gypsy contains 40 gold coins. G E T space L S C R S E. You take 40 gold coins. S A C space O R P S E. The power gave you one gold coin for your sacrifice of the corpse of a gypsy. K space G. You bash a giant spider over the head with a wooden practice shield. You enter into combat with L E E space A S T. You panic and attempt to flee. Panic, you couldn't escape. You hit a F L E E space A R T H. A gypsy wiggles her bottom trying to attract attention. Yeah, I don't want S. to kill that spider. A cavernous passage, a small pool of blood. K space G Y. You attempt to bash a gypsy over the head with a wooden practice shield. F. You don't have the magical energy to K. You don't have the stamina to do that. 
Okay. Let's see. Two. Two. Let's see what my. 100%. 47%. 28. Missing zero and she's a bit. You get a gypsy zero missing one F. You don't have the magical energy to do. All right, so I'm just gonna. You get a gypsy one missing. Um, I'm going to uh, actually check how much um how much uh she's at, and I can pre do this by pressing Alt period. Sixty-seven percent missing once and she's a bit. You don't have the stamina to do that. You hit a gypsy once. Forty-two percent. You hit a gypsy once missing zero. Eighty-three percent. You hit a gypsy once missing. Forty-four percent. You hit a gypsy zero missing once and she defends zero. Forty-nine percent. Thirty-seven percent. You hit a gypsy once missing zero and she. F. You don't have the magical. You hit a gypsy once missing zero and she defends zero. F. You don't have the magical. How much percenting? You hit a gypsy zero missing once and she defends zero, leaving her at eight percent. You hit zero or miss once and defends. All right, so let's see how much she's. One percent. A gypsy tells you good work. That's three of three. Me wanted killed. As she draws her last breath, a gypsy drops the potion she was holding. A gypsy has been slain. You receive five hundred experience points. A gypsy collapses lifeless to the ground. G E T S P A L S O R E S E. You take forty-two gold coins. You take a cure light potion from the corpse of a gypsy. Oh, nice, a health potion. S S E S P A L R P S E. The house gave you one gold coin for your cell. A cavernous passage. You are in a rough walled passageway in the Garing Caverns. The floor here is a light gray stone. The walls are a combination of earth and stone. Glowing light can grow thickly on the walls, lighting your way. You can hear the scurrying of feet, but you can't determine the direction it is coming from because of the muffling effect of the stone. The caverns extend west and north from this intersection. Some blood and guts are on the ground. The severed arm of a gypsy is lying here. A huge brown spider is here. It is really creepy looking. All right, cool. So just a spider here. All right, cool. So now I'm going to go find the, um, the Zorn because I've got the doll, killed the gypsies, and now I need the Zorn. And a damn cavern, an end. A damn cavern, a trail of the end. You cannot move up. A damn cavern, a damn cavern, a bright moon. Shop them rocks, the dwarven healer is here, muttering and fussing. Then what says, so what do you need, Vanon? You think I should help you just because you got the E? You wonder, eh? A cavern, pat, eh? A damn cat, eh? A damn pat, A damn pat, eh? A musty pat, eh? A slippery pat, eh? A damn pat, eh? A damn pat, eh? A damn pat, eh? You cannot move, eh? A musty cat, eh? A musty cat, eh? A cavern passage, eh? A damn cavern, eh? A musty pat, eh? You cannot, eh? A damn pat, eh? A chili cat, you cannot eh, a chice moan softly, a rough passage, eh, a chilly passage, eh, you cannot move in that type, a icy cavern, duck, a chilly passage, duck, you cannot move in eh, a rocky passage. I actually need to go ahead and sleep. S L. You go to sleep. Because I need to. 100%. 61%. 81%. <laughs> I need to, um, heal a little bit. So, um, basically, um... You are giving these skills like breathe fire and bash, and you've got tons of them. So you know, if I go ahead and um, type uh, skills, S K R L L S, usage skills, spells, proficiencies, less school, and I can go and look at Blank. all the different skills I have as a barbarian. Blank. Skill at skill analyze less class one greater less class two greater less class three greater less class skill analyze skill at skills use you go to sleep usage skill spells for less class name nobody greater. Skill analyze less class one greater less class two greater less skill analyze less class skill at skill at blank blank. Actually, no, wait, that's not the right one. So um, S K I L L. Shouts of battle and buck. Let's see here. Space B A R B. Oops. Nine feet B R A B space L L R K S. Wrong. Edit multi line S K I L L space B A R B. Usage skill spells proficiencies less school greater S K I L L space P R O F. Number proficiency name type C M P F. Edit multi cool. blank. You have nine practice. You have the ability to learn twenty five proficiencies. Star indicates a recommend color key. Act twenty five throwing spear. We sixteen percent zero percent unavailable. So throwing spear. Twenty four throwing axe. We sixteen percent zero percent. Twenty three third attack. Com fifty five percent zero percent unavailable. Third attack. Twenty two strike down. Com forty three percent zero percent. A twenty one sweep. Com one percent seventy five percent. Twenty second attack. Com seventeen percent zero percent unavailable. Star nineteen shield block death one percent one percent star. Eighteen sword. We one percent forty percent. 17 spear we 5, 18 sword we 1, 7, 16 perception tech 1%, 5%, 15 parry death 15%, 0%, unavailable. 14 layout com 55%, 0%, unavailable. 13 lightning breath my 55%, 25%, inactive. 12 halberd we 9%, 0%, 11 hand to hand com 1%, 75%, clan novice adventure attend gas breath my 35%, 29 fast healing tech 10%, 0%, unavailable. Star. 8 thrust breath my 45%, 27 fire breath my 5%, 75%. 6 enhanced damage com 45% 0% 5 dagger we 1% 1% 4 battle rage com 30% 0% unavailable 3 bash com 1% 75% 2 
2 actually 1%, 75%. 1 acid ref mice 30%, 25%. Inactive. Number proficiency name type right. CMPL. So I got a lot of um, skills here. Um, Edit from, multi uh, two attacks, three attacks, to a bash, to a spear, to a sword. You, wake and stand you, up. you need to practice these proficiencies at a trainer. And also you get it while you're using it, but it's very slow to get it while you're using end, it. End of the passage. A trail of glowing footprints is here. Turning down. D the trap door is closed. O P E S D O dot N. So I'm going to type open down because the trap door is closed. You open the down trap door. All right. Let's go down. You step cautiously onto the stairs, descending into the depths below. A stone stairwell. E you cannot move in the air. A, a fairy a dragon joins your form. In the air. A friendly little fairy dragon is oh. exploring the area. A friendly oh. little fairy dragon is exploring the area. A friendly little. So basically, a little fairy dragon. Um, join my form. Let's go ahead and look at it. L space D R A G. The fairy dragon looks like a regular dragon that someone managed to drastically reduce in size. It is very friendly, whopping about people's legs when they enter the room. The scales covering its body are iridescent, reflecting every color imaginable. It has tiny, translucent wings and a long tail with arms on the end. This little creature is only about the size of an average dog. It wants to be your friend and helper. She is a dragon approximately two zero tall. A fairy dragon is currently in your formation of two. A fairy dragon is in good health. Nice. So you can join up with other people or and non-player characters can join up with you. So I'm going to go ahead and check my um, stamina. 100%. 100%. A long tunnel. An escaped hellhound lurks in the shadows, growling at you. A fairy dragon drifts in from the west. E. A long tunnel. A tabby cat is here, head butting you and purring loudly. A fairy dragon drifts in from E. A bright intersection. A trail of glowing footprints is here, turning north. A tabby cat is here, head butting you in. A rocky passage. An escaped hellhound lurks in the shadows, growling at you. An escaped hellhound lurks in the shadows, growling at you. A fairy dragon drifts in from the south. Alright, so um, I've been uh, kind of going off because I know these caverns a little bit. Um, I went and investigated before this. Um, but uh, I'm going to actually turn on the exits so that, um, that we can see where, where the exits are from here. So you type in S E T space S A O W space space dash E X T I I T R T S exits. And it's a toggle. So if it's on, then, um, then it will show them. And if it's off, then type in set show exits. We'll turn it on. Show exits is now on. Okay, so now it's on. N. A rocky passage. Visible exits. NS. An escaped hellhound lurks in the shadows, growling at you. A fairy dragon drifts so in. Visible exits. NS. N. A slippery place. Visible exits. SW. A hideous cylindrical zone creature quivers away from you. A fairy dragon drifts in from the south. So I'm going to go ahead and kill it. K. Space. X. You attempt to bash a cowering zone. No K. You bash a cowering zone over the head with a wooden practice shield. You hit a K. You don't have the stamina to do that. You hit a cowering zone zero, missing once, and she defends zero, leaving her at eighty one percent. You are hit zero, are missed once, and one hundred percent. You hit a cowering zone once, missing zero, and she defends right, zero, so leaving F. You hit a cowering zone. Uh, breathe some fire on it. You hit a. You breathe water cone of fire. You hit a cow. F. You don't have enough stamina to do that. You twenty six percent. You hit a cowering zone once, missing zero, and sixty five percent. Sixty five percent. You hit a. 43%. You hit a cowering zone once. 90%. 90% hit points. You hit a cowering zone once, missing zero and she defends zero, leaving her at 61. You hit a cowering zone. 28%. You hit a cowering zone once, missing zero and she defends zero, leaving her at 56%. Oh, no, she's at 56%. You hit a cowering zone once, missing zero, and she defends zero, leaving her at 52%. You are hit zero, or miss once, and defend zero. You hit a cowering zone once, missing zero, and she defends zero, leaving her at 51%. You are hit zero, or miss one. 48%. 45%. 45%. Ouch. A cowering. 46%. A cowering zone's blood sprays everywhere, coating everything with a fine crimson mist. You hit a cowering zone. 46%. You hit a cowering zone zero, missing once, and she defends. 42%. 46%. You hit a cowering zone zero, missing zero, and she defends once, leaving her at 37%. You are hit zero, or miss once, and 47%. You hit a cowering zone zero, missing once, and she defends zero, leaving her at 34%. You are hit zero, or miss once, and defend zero. There is a loud scream and a thudding of huge pincers as Atrascus the King Crab looms out of the valley lake after another victim. You hit a cowering zone zero, missing once, and she defends. What happened? Edit multi blank. In its haste, a cowering zone drops something that it had been holding onto with one of its suckers. A picture falls to the ground. Oh, Edit nice. multi line. Let e a -A -E space. So it dropped a picture. E I C. So I'm gonna take it. You take the portrait of a pretty human girl. All right, cool, perfect. S. A rocky passage, visible exits. N S. An escaped hellhound lurks in the shadows, growling at you. A fairy dragon drifts in from the north. So um, I don't really want the dragon, so I'm gonna go ahead and recall, which is the um a way of teleporting back to the uh shrine where we started. R E C A L. A swirling vortex of sound and energy and venom. S. L. Brother Rufus Nick. 
You go to sleep. You hear a hug. 100%, 80%, 100%. Okay, cool. So I've got everything now. And so I'm going to go and um, and uh, go and deliver these items, the doll and the um, the picture to the people. S-T. They're outside of the village. So um, I'm going to show you how to navigate in the world, like the wilderness area. So I'm going to go ahead and stand up. You wake up, double. You leave feeling refreshed and ready. Eh, village of Laysla, visible exit. This time, first we went west to go to the caverns, now we're going to go east. E. Village of Laysla, visible exit. And E W. A well is here. E. Village of Lay. Village of Lay. Village of E. Village of E. A slippery cross. E. A dusty E. You cannot move in that direct. A dusty path, visible exit. And S. A huge broken off crab pincer is solidly embedded into an oak tree here. A red fox is slinking through so the... So, that big pincer in the tree. L. Spade. E. R. N. You focus your powers of observation on a huge crab pincer. Item a huge crab pincer is type artifact. Alignment zero. Made of organic. In. New. Condition. As keywords. Huge broken off crab pincer. This item weighs 10 stones and zero pebbles and is valued at 100 gold. Cat zero. This level 5 item has the attributes. Identified insulated. Won't fuse unbreakable. Not decay. This huge crab pincer long detached from its owner is sunk solidly into the side of an aged oak tree. This might have been the undoing of the crab. Allowing gods to rush in and detach the beast's limb. Now it simply hangs from the tree which creaks occasionally as the huge pincer sways in. The breeze too deeply embedded to remove easily. The gods have simply left it for now. Preserving energy to fend off the various other threats to lace the valley. The beast this came from is still out there and it must be stopped. A furry squirrel has arrived from the south. S. A dusty path. Visible exits. N-E-S-W. A wooden signpost has been hammered into E. The southern gate of the village. Visible exits. S-W. A red fox is slinking through the... Alright, cool. So, um, now we are going to the road. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the exits because there's a lot... There's exits in all directions here. You can go any direction. And it shows a lot of stuff. So... S-E-T-S-A-A-O-W-E-X-R-E-S Show exits is now off. The high road, a weather-beaten signpost is firmly planted here. A fragrant fellow wanders lazily down the trail. S. The high road. S. A field of tall grass. Eh. The high road. A field of tall grass. Same. Eh. A field of tall grass. A field of tall... The high road. Eh. The high road. E. So the high road. Basically, I'm, um, I'm exploring, like, where did I go before? So. Speak type words on. Speak type characters on. W. The high road. S. The high road. S. The high road. A pious-looking woman walks with her head bowed. S. The high road. S. A fallow field. A rather green me- E. A field of tall grass. N. The high road. E. The high road. E. The high road. E. The high road. E. A field of tall grass. S. A field of tall. W. A field of tall. N. The high road. N. The high road. E. The high road. A crack. E. W. The high road. The high road. A practice spear is leaning against the wall here. E. The high road. You're not supposed to put E. The high road. Leaning against a wall. We're in a road. E. The high road. Be road of wall. E. A fallow field. A loaf of rough grain sits here. W. The high road. N. A fallow field. S. The high road, S. The high road, quest clergy, a preacher of God is here, carrying a blazing torch along the high road. Good luck with the task, Vannon, a preacher of God exclaims to you. So basically this guy gave me the, the mica fan that I have in my inventory, and we'll go do this right after we get these items. And basically we have to go around to the different towers here, which I'll show you in just a sec. So let me type survey and you can see them. So you survey the area around you and see a brief walk away to the southeast. You see the weathered wooden walls of a facility for new adventurers. Close by to the northwest, you see the rough pine walls of the village of Laysla guarding the mouth of the canyon. In the distance to the southeast, you see an airy column of mist seems to take on the shape of a tower. A brief walk away to the east, you see a darker and slightly ominous area of water in Lake Grand. Rather far off to the southeast, you see a tall tower flickering with a fiery aura. Not far off to the southeast, you see a small ship anchored alongside a stone jetty. Not far off to the north, you see a tower carved from a outcropping of living stone. A brief walk away to the southwest, you see an unusual tower glistening as if wet. Land novice adventurers at Ember's Gain, class level 42. Total level 42. All right, cool. So um, you basically could see it told you how far away and to what direction the different locations are. So there's a bunch of towers. There's four towers. There's the lake. There's the nov like the intro school, um, in which is to the southeast of me. And then there's Laysler, which is the village, which is northwest, and it's a uh, um. Two. What does it look like? You survey the area around First you and see a brief walk away to the southeast. You see the weathered wooden walls of a facility for new adventurers. The Close train. by to the northwest, you see the rough pine walls of the village of Laysler. Ah, the pine walls of Laysler. So it's to the northwest. So let's go. A down on her luck ogre gypsy gives you tome of experience. help you kill bad late thing. A down on her luck ogre gypsy gives you a gypsy's axe. You have completed a part of your quest. A down on her luck ogre gypsy gives you a tome of experience. A tome of experience emits a bright flare of white light as it finds with you. Global hint. Heavy weapons do increase damage. For first, plus 4% damage. For 1.5 ST plus 6%. For 2 ST plus 8%. For 2.75 ST plus 10%. These bonuses are doubled for ogres. Okay, cool. E. A fallow field. W. The high road. S. The high road. S. A field of tall grass. N. 
The I E. The I rose. E. A fan of field. W. The I S. The I rose. E. The I rose. S. The I rose. E. The I rose. S. The I rose. E. The I rose. So we're going on a diagonal right now. It looks like a steps. S. A field of told. N. The I rose. E. The I rose. E. The I rose. E. The I rose. S. E. A field of told. W. The I rose. A stone ring water collection basin sits on the side of the road. N. A field of told. Cross. S. The I rose. S. The I rose. E. A field of tall cross. W. S. The I rose. E. The I rose. S. The I rose. E. The I rose. S. The I rose. E. The I rose. A glossy black bird picks at an animal carcass. S. The I rose. E. An expansive plane. W. The I S. The I rose. S. An expansive plane. E. The I rose. A weather beaten signpost is firmly planted here. A face crawny looking boy a bit younger than you stands in a cloud of dust. Hey, neat. A novice lutherman so exclaims to you, you got the doll back just like I asked. You might actually be able to kill Atrascus. All right, so I'm going to give the doll to the guy, and to the, um, the boy. Give. Doll. Boy, you do not have an item called doll. Give. Doll. Y dub O. B. Boy. You hey, not just the doll insert you've seen while you still inhale her. Exclaims to you, ooh, and it's just as close as I had hoped for. Emma Novice Lutomancer turns a rag doll over, inspecting it from all sides. You are what? A Novice Lutomancer says to you, now that's just close. What is this? Fairy dragon poop. Ugh, at least it will get me all of the filth samples that I need for my assignment. Here's the inhaler that one of my associates gave me. A Novice Lutomancer says to you, most of us can breathe through dust and mud inherently, just due to the nature of our magic. You look like you could use it, though. I heard a rumor that a bunch of adventurers were organizing a raid upon the underwater lair of Atrascus the Terrible, and this will definitely work for that if you wanted to join them. I don't know who, but it might be worth asking in the Novice Adventurer's Guild. Anyway, thanks for the help. A Novice Lutomancer says to you, I appreciate it. Best of luck on your journeys. A Novice Lutomancer waves to you. A Novice Lutomancer gives you a well-used inhaler. A well-used inhaler emits a bright flare of white light as it binds with you. You have completed a part of your quest. Nice. Okay, cool. So let's go find the grieving woman. S. An expansive plane. E. The I road. N. The I road. S. The I road. E. The I road. S. The I road. E. The W. E. The I road. S. The I road. E. The I road. S. An expansive plane. E. An expand. N. The I road. E. The I road. E. The I road. E. The I road. E. An expansive plane. W. The I S. The I road. S. An expansive N. The I road. A stone ring water collection. E. The I road. E. An expansive plane. W. The I road. S. The I road. E. An expansive W. The I road. S. 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 An expansive E. The I road. N. The I road. S. The I road. E. The I road. S. The I road. E. The I road. S. An expansive plane. N. The I road. E. The I road. E. The I road. F. An older woman stands in the middle of the road, sobbing into her bonnet. Vanon, a grieving mother, exclaims to you, You have brought back my daughter's portrait. I am so grateful to you. Would you give it to me, please? Give. Port. Woman. A grieving mother gives you swirling crimson orb. A grieving mother exclaims, A grieving mother gives you tome of experience. my husband, but I thank you for this favor that you have done me, Vanon. I spent the last of my family's savings on this magical orb. A grieving mother says to you, It is well crafted and intended for usage by someone such as you. You don't need any particular skill in wielding magical items to benefit from it. When you feel ready to fight the king crab Atrascus, who resides at the bottom of Lake Grand, to our northeast, simply wear the orb as you fight him, and it shall passively assist you in your work. Best of luck ridding us of that scourge, and thank you again. A grieving mother hugs you gently. Maybe you should hug her back. A grieving mother gives you a swirling crimson orb. A swirling crimson orb emits a bright flare of white light as it finds with you. A grieving mother gives you a tome of experience. A tome of experience emits a bright flare of white light as it finds with you. You have completed a part of your quest. Alright, cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and complete another quest here. Um, uh, Extra Kiss, the, the King Crab, is actually a very difficult boss to kill. Um, and, uh, I don't a know if mother my, leaves west. My, um, my fighting skills are up to solo it. It would take a lot of work. Um, so, anyways. Um, uh, I'd probably need to go and organize a raid with some of the other people in the novice clan. Um, so, uh, I'm going to go and do another quest here where I'm going to run around to these different, um, towers. So, the first tower, um, that I'm going to go to is a stone one. So, I'm going to go look for the stone tower. So, you survey the area around you and see, close by to the east, you see the weathered wooden walls of a facility for new adventurers. Rather far off to the northwest, you see the rough pine walls of the village of Lazler, guarding the mouth of the canyon. A brief walk away to the east, you see an airy column of mist seems to take on the shape of a tower. Not far off to the northeast, you see a darker and slightly ominous area of water in Lake Grand. A brief walk away to the southwest, you see a tall tower flickering with a fiery aura. Not far off to the northwest, you see a small ship anchored alongside a stone jetty. Rather far off to the northwest, you see a tower carved from a outcropping of living stone. A brief walk away to the Alright, so a long ways to the northwest, basically. So I'm gonna go back to Lacelar. And W, an expansive E, an expand S, um, the I road, W, the I road, E, And you can actually the run on roads, and it'll take you, um, you, you don't need to follow it, so, um. Run. So I'm gonna run west. West, you start running, you run westward, the I road, you, you run northward, the I road, you run westward, the I road, you run westward, the I road, you.
You run northwestward. The high road. You run westward. The high road. You go ahead and survey. Two. You run westward. The high road. A practice stair is leaning against the wall here. You survey the area Stop around you and see the rough off to the southeast. You see the weathered wooden walls of a facility for new adventurers. Close by to the northwest, you see the rough pine walls of the village of Laysla dotting the mouth of the canyon. In the distance to the southeast, you see an airy column of mist seems to take on the shape of a tower. A brief walk away to the east, you see a darker and slightly ominous area of water in Lake Grand. Rather far off to the southeast, you see a tall tower flickering with a fiery aura. Not far off to the southeast, you see a small ship anchored alongside a stone jetty. Not far off to the northeast, you see a tower carved from a outcropping of living stone. A brief walk. So I need to go to the northeast. E. A field of tall grass. D. A field of tall grass. D. You cannot move in that direction. E. A field of tall grass. E. A field of N. An expansive N. You cannot move. E. An expansive E. An expansive E. A coppiced woodland. 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 Sue. You survey the area around you and see. Edit multi line. Blank. A brief walk away to the southwest. You see an unusual tower not far off to the northwest. You see a tower carved from a outcropping of living stone. A brief not far off to the northwest. You edit multi line. NW a coppiced woodland. NW a coppiced woodland. NW a coppiced woodland. NW a coppiced woodland. A duck and foreboding. NW you cannot move in that direct. W you cannot move in S. A coppiced W you cannot move S. A coppiced W you cannot move in that direction. Two. You survey the area around you and see. Edit multi. Blank. A brief walk not far off to the north. You see a tower carved from a outcropping of living stone. Up up sixty four seas. We must client out. Edit multi map. N a coppiced N a duck and foreboding. N a coppiced N a duck and foreboding. You cannot move in that direct W. You cannot move E. A duck and for N. A duck and for both N. A duck and for boating wood. Survey. Two. You survey it. Edit multi. Blank. Rather far close by to the north. You see a tower carved from a rock crop. Edit multi. Map. N. A duck and for N. A meadow. N. A meadow. Up. N. A duck and for boat N. You cannot move in that type. E. A meadow. N. The entrance to the tower of Marauders. There it is. And you cannot move you. The top of the with Michael. Oh, thank you, Vannon. A preacher of Marauders exclaims to you. I see the preacher of God finally got around to returning it. I hope it came in useful for him. A preacher of Marauders takes a micro fan from you and stores it away. You have completed a part of your quest. While you're here, I don't suppose you'd be interested in taking this watering can back to the preacher of Ithrilis. A preacher of Marauders asks you. A preacher of Marauders gives you a watering can. She left it with me to try on some new seeds I've been planting. A preacher of Marauders says to you, Now they've sprouted, I have no more use for this. All right, so now we're gonna go find the water tower. D. The entrance to the S. A meadow. Two. You survey. Edit multi. Blank. Rod of right here to the north. Use a brief walk away to the southeast. You see a small ship anchored in the distance to the southeast. You see a tall tower flickering with a brief walk away to the southeast. You see a darker and slightly ominous area in the distance to the southeast. You see an airy column of mist not far off to the southwest. You see the rough pine wall. Rod of far off to the southeast. You see the weathered wooden walls. You survey the area around you. Rod of in the brief in the right. Rod of blank. Rod of far off to the south. You see an unusual tower glistening as if wet. Edit multi line. And go run. Ahead and run south. Oops. Oh, S. The end. You are. S. A meadow. Yeah. Oh, S. So run. Run. South. south. You start running. You run southward. A duck and fall. You run southward. A coppiced woodland. You run southward. A fallow field. Start, start underscore run running southeast. underscore run, run underscore road. road. The, high... the high road. S. The high road. S. An expansive. S. An expansive. Two. You survey the area around. Edit multi. Land not far off to the southwest. You see an unusual tower glistening as if wet. Yeah, so Edit multi lot. S. W. Lake Hoffman. S.W. Lake Hoffman. S. Captain Reinhardt admires his ship's mast and deck. A small ship anchored alongside a stone jetty floats here. Ahoy there. Captain Reinhardt exclaims to you. Welcome aboard. Vannon. This is what being on the ship in Illyria is like. Try the command ship scan and ship info. Captain Reinhardt says to you. If we weren't in the middle of some repairs, I'd sail you about a bit. Captain Reinhardt says to you. When you want to leave, type ship exit east. Okay. Evidently, I walked onto a ship. Um, I'm actually a, uh, a... I can fly a little bit. So, um, I, uh, I can walk on ships. W. Lake Hoffman. On the water, I mean. W. Lake Hoffman. W. Lake Hoff. W. An expansive plane. So I'm guessing Two. You survey the area. Edit multi. Here. Blank. Not far off to the southwest. You see an unusual tower. Gl Edit multi. Somewhere to the south. SW. An expansive. SW. Rolling hills. SW. Rolling hills. SW. An expansive. SW. A coppiced woodland. S a coppiced. S double. Lake Hoffman. S double. Lake Hoffman. S double. Lake Hoffman. Two. You survey the. Edit multi. Blank. Close by to the southwest. You see an unusual tower glistening as if wet. Edit multi. Line. Blank. Two. You survey the area. S W. Lake Hoffman. S W. Lake Hoff. S W. Lake Hoff. S W. A duck and fall. S W. A duck and fall. S W. A duck and fall. S. A duck and S. A duck and S. You cannot move in that. W. A duck and S. You cannot move. W. You cannot move in that direction. Two. Edit multi. Blank. You cannot move in that direction. Blank. Blank. Edit multi. Two. You survey the area around. Edit multi. Blank. Close by to the northeast. You see an unusual tower glistening as if wet. Edit multi line. Blank. D. A duck and fall. N. A duck and E. A duck and fall. D. A duck and fall. D. Lake Hoffman. W. A duck and N. A duck and fall. Two. Right, so use up, up six. Yeah. Musk must client. Edit multi. Blank. Close by to the southeast. You see an unusual tower glistening as if wet. Edit multi line. Blank. C. Lake Hoffman. C. 
You can book movement at W, a duck and S, a duck and E. You can book movement S, a duck and E. The entrance to the Tower of Ithlius, a strange feeling comes over you, and you seem strangely comfortable underwater. You choke as your lungs adjust to underwater breathing. Cool, so I'm underwater. Right. You. We can go ahead and look around here. L, the entrance to the Tower of Ithlius. It takes a moment for your lungs to adjust to the sensation of breathing underwater. All around, the walls are covered with rocks and coral and a myriad of fish dot in and out of protruding formations, definitely avoiding the gently swaying tentacles of anemones. A swirling current in the center of the chamber serves as a stairway to the upper room. So. All these rooms have descriptions, not necessarily um, the forest, the and area around you. that area, but um, these uh, these special areas do. So I'm going to go up. You. The top of the creature of Ithrilis is the most cute creature of Ithrilis in their ropes glistening as if wet. Thanks for bringing that back. A creature of Ithrilis exclaims to you, I hope those seeds he's planting grow well. There's something special within them. A creature of Ithrilis takes a watering can and places it in a sandy hollow. You have completed a part of your quest. Would you like to return this kite to my sister cleric? A creature of Dera, a creature of Ithrilis asks you. She lent it to me last week to use down by the lake. A creature of Ithrilis gives you a gossamer kite. Clan novice adventurous corpus gained plus D. The entrance, W, a duck and four. Right, okay. So, um, now we're going to go to the, uh, misty area. Two, you survey the edit mode. Land right here to the east, you rather far off to the northeast, you see a tower carved from a rock cropping not far off to the northeast, you see a small ship anchored a brief walk away to the southeast, you see a tall tower flickering with a fiery aura. Rather far off to the northeast, you see a ducker and slightly in the distance to the east, you see an airy column of mist seems to take on the shape of a tower. So edit multi line. N. A duck and E. You cannot move in that duck. N. A duck and four. E. Lake often. E. Lake often. E. Lake often. E. Lake off. E. The deep E. The deep waters of Lake of E. The deep water 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 E. The deep waters of Lake Coffin. Run. East to start running. Stop under school running. As good a place as any to stop and rest. E. The deep waters W. The deep waters E. The deep water E. Lake Coffin. E. Lake Coffin E. You are too exhausted. Better rest for a bit. Right, so I guess I'm tired. E. You are too exhausted. Ah, you rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and survey. Two. You survey the area around you and see. Edit multi. Blank. Not far off to the west. You see an unusual tower glistening as it rather far off to the northwest. You see it not far off to the northwest. You see a small ship anchor. A brief walk away to the south. You see a tall tower flickering with a brief walk away to the northeast. You see a ducker and slight rather far off to the east. You see an airy column of mist seems to take on the shape. Edit multi. Right, nine. So when you walk, it actually takes stamina. So I'm gonna go ahead and look at how much stamina I have. Forty-eight percent. Oh, okay, I've got. St. Some. You scramble. E. Lake often. E. Lake often. E. An expansive cliff. E. An expand. E. An expand. E. An exp. E. An expand. Run. East. You start running. You run eastward. All the strewn hillsides. You. You run eastward. An expansive cliff. Stop underscore running. E. You cannot move in that direction. Alright, so let's survey again. Ru edit multi. Flat a brief run of not far a brief walk of not far off to the northwest. A brief walk away to the southwest. Not far off to the north. You see a, a brief walk away to the northeast. You see an airy column of mist seems to take on the shape of a tower. So northeast. Edit multi line. Blank. N. An expansive knee. An expansive knee. The high road. Knee. An expansive knee. An expansive knee. An expand N. A cup. A cup is the wood. E. An expand N. A cup is the wood. Knee. A cup. Knee. A cup is the woodland. Two. You survey. Edit multi. Blank. Rather, 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 much, much far, rather far off to the north. Close by to the southwest. You see the weathered wooden walls. You survey the area. Close rather far off to the northwest. Not far off to the east. You see an airy column of mist seems to. Edit multi. Not E. A cup. E. A cup. E. A cup. E. A duck. E. A cup. E. A cup. E. A duck. E. A duck. E. A duck. E. E. A duck. E. A duck. E. A duck. E. A duck. E. A meadow. A duck and foreboding wood. Two. You survey. Edit multi. Blank. In the in the rather rather a brief close by to a brief close by to the southeast. You see an airy column of mist seems to take on the shape of a tower. A brief close by to the southeast. Edit multi. Not. C. A duck and. C. A duck and four boat C. A duck and C. A duck and four C. You cannot move in that time. S. A duck and four E. You cannot move in. I'm guessing it's here. S. A duck and four E. You cannot move in. S. A duck and E. You cannot move. S. A duck and E. You cannot move. Two. Oh, you survey there. Edit multi. In the in the rather rather a brief close in the distance to the north. A brief walk away to the west. You see the weathered wooden walls. You survey the air. A brief in the distance to the north. Close by to the north. You see an airy column of mist seems to oh, take on the shape. Edit multi line. Okay. N. A duck and N. A duck and N. A duck N. A duck N. A duck N. The N. You cannot move oh, in that direction. S. A, N. There the entrance is. to the Tower of Dera. A serpent headed crane faces away from you, examining something. L. The entrance to the Tower of Dera. The air in this circular room is fresh and clean as it swirls about. Though the walls seem mostly opaque and solid from the outside, inside, only a slight shimmer marks the boundary between the room and the Illyrian wilderness. Almost imperceptibly, darker air marks the stairs spiraling to the top of the Tower of Air. A serpent-headed crane faces away from you, examining something. Alright, so I'm gonna go up. You. The top of the of Dera is pressing a tinder box. Dera is immodestly shrouded in mist. Ah, my kite. A creature of Dera exclaims to you. I hope she had fun with it down at the lake. It's a perfect day today for it as well. You have good timing, Vannon. Thank you. A creature of Dera takes a gossamer kite from you, letting it unwind into the gentle breeze. You have completed a part of your quest. I have one last request of you, Vannon. A creature of Dera says to you. I'm sure you're tired out from all this running around we've made you do. Can you return this tinder box to the Tower of God? A creature of Dera gives you a tinder box. He's not usually there after all. You met him down on the high road. A creature of Dera says to you. Just take it up the tower and God should handle the rest. Alright, cool. So now I'm going to um 
uh, go to the fire tower. D, the entrance, S, a duck and full, S, a duck and W, S, W, a duck and full, burning wood, a duck, hairy rat, which is its long, scaly tail. Two. You survey, edit mode, black in the distance to the west, you see in the distance to the northwest, you see a tower rather far off to the west, you see a small ship anchored alongside in the distance to the northwest, you see a tower car rather far, rather far off to the southwest, you see a tall tower flickering with a fiery aura. Alright, so southwest, that's where I need to go. Edit multi line. Run. H T U O S S W. You start running. You run southwestward. A duck and fall. You run southwestward. A copist woodman. You forget what you're doing. You run the rhythm and slow to a stop. S W. You cannot move. W. You cannot E. A copist woodman. S. A copist S. A copist W. A copist woodman. Two. You survey. Edit multi. Black rod off in the distance to the northwest. You run far off to the northwest. A brief walk away to the southwest. You see a tall tower flickering with a fiery aura. Right. So a brief walk away to the southwest. Edit multi line. S S. S W. You cannot move. S. A copist W. You cannot move in S. A copist W. A copist woodland. N. You cannot move W. A copist wood. N. You cannot move S. A copist W. A copist two. You survey. Edit multi. Rather in the rather far a brief walk away to the southwest. You see a brief walk away to the northwest. You see a darker and slightly ominous not far off to the northeast. A brief a brief walk away to the southwest. You see a tall tower flickering. Oh, Edit multi. S W. A copist S W. A copist woodland. Sniper cut at numbers. It impaired is now relay. S W. A copist. S W. A copist. S W. A copist. S W. A duck and four burning. Right, two. Survey. You survey the area. Edit multi line. Black rather in the rather far not far off to the southwest. You see a tall tower flickering with a fire. Edit multi line. So S W a duck S W a duck S W a copy S W a duck 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 S W a S W a duck and four burning wood. Two. You survey. Edit mode. Black rather far off in the distance. Rather far off to the northwest. You see a small ship in the distance. Rock close by to the west. You see a tall tower flickering with a fire. Edit multi line. W a duck and 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 four burning wood. Two. You survey. Edit multi. A brief in the dim rather far close by to the southwest. You see a tall tower flickering with a fiery. Edit multi. S W a duck and S W. You cannot move in S. You cannot move in that E. A duck and S. You cannot move W. A duck and W. A duck and four W. The entrance to the Tower of God. Right there. L. The entrance to the Tower of God. Golden copper flames flicker from the cracks between the flagstones in the dim light of his room. The large basalt blocks that make up the walls are each outlined with a fiery glow, with flames peeking through cracks in the mortar. It is as if the rock were but a thin shell, poorly camouflaging a structure of elemental fire. A staircase winds upwards through the smoke. You, the top of the tower of God. As you reach the top of the tower, a tender flame engulfs a tinderbox as God reclaims it. A soft breeze picks the ash up, twirling it away into the sky. You have completed a part of your quest. A thunderous, crackling voice tells you return now to the one who sent you out on your journey. You have done well, young one. Cool. God spoke to me, I guess. Cool. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and recall. Recall a swirling vortex of sound and energy envelops you. Shrine of ST, I start three. A scrumptious blueberry danish is here. Who? 82%. Alright, uh, and now I go back to the um, the headmaster of the uh, town. W, you leave him, N, village of Lake, W, village, W, okay, so village of Lake, W, village of N, Tolling weapons, for S, you walk, W, village of Laysla, a wooden sign points north, denoting Master Irvin's of N, clan novice adventurer, Z, E, Master Irvin's office, you Chris cracker. Irvin, the village headmaster is attending to business here, I look, Irvin, hello, Vannon, Irvin says to you, would you be willing to find some objects for me, hungry, Vannon, Irvin asks, Irvin gives you a cracker, Irvin smiles at you, doesn't that just make you want to smile back at him, safe, safe, Irvin says to you, if you are willing to undertake my errands, type say mushroom, or say thief, and I will tell you what to do, clan novice adventurer, the Lima. All right, cool. So I'm gonna type quest. Quest. Info and see which number of quests I just completed. Info. Quest number thirteen ninety. Edit mode. Black land type. A total of this is an achievement. This quest has no time. Quest number thirteen eighty nine. The four towers. Four slash five. This is an quest number thirteen eighty nine. The four towers. Four slash five goals complete. Oh, oops. Thirty eighty nine. Edit multi line. Blank. Go and check this quest. Quest. Info. Info. Three zero eight nine. Thirteen eighty nine. This quest. Edit multi line. Black phase five. Return to the preacher of God along the high road. Dot, dot. Oh shoot! Edit multi line. Go back and, and go to the preacher. Of w R. S a grassy path along S village of Lazler. E village of Lazler. A sign of the wooden E village of Lazler. A flickering E village of Lazler. An overloaded wooden cart is E village of Lazler. A faded E village of Lazler. A well is here. Fill. E. Drink some water. N I I R D. Drink. You drink water from a well. A warm blue aura surrounds you for drink. You drink water from a well. A drink. You drink okay. E. The sudden gate of the VS, the high road, the S, the high road, and the high road. Run. South, you start running. You run southward, the high road. You run northeastward, the high road. You run southeastward, the high road. You run southward, the high road. You run southeastward, the high road. You run southeastward, the high road. You run eastward, the high road. E, an expansive W, the high road, S, the high road, E, an expansive W, the S, the high road, S, the high road, S, the high road, S, an expansive E. 
the I road, and the I road, S the I road, S an expansive, and the I E, the I road, S the I E, the I road, S an expansive plane, and the I road, F an older woman stands in the middle of the road, and an expansive plane, some W, the I road, and an ex W, the I road, W, the I road, and the I road, W, an expansive plane, and an expansive E, the I road, and the I road, and the I road, and the I road, and an expansive W, the I S, the I road, and the I and an expansive W, an expansive S, the I road, W, the I road, W, the I road, W, the I road, W, the I road, W. An expansive plane, a low E, the I road, N, the I road, W, the I road, W, an expansive plane, E, the I road, N, the I road, W, the I road, W, an expansive E, the I N, the I road, W, the I road, a weather beaten signpost is firmly planted here, a face crawny looking board, W, an expansive E, the I road, N, the I road, N, an expansive S, the I, W, the I road, N, the I road, W, an expansive N, the I road, E, the I road, W, the W, an expansive E, the N, the I, W, the I, N, W, the I road, N, the I road, W, an expansive plane, E, the I, N, the I road, as N, a field of tall, W, a field, S, the I road, W, the I road, W, the I road, W, the I road, W, a field of W, of E, of E, the I, N, the I road, W, the I road, N, the I road, W, the I road, N, the I road, W, the I road, N, clan novice adventure as a member's gain, class level, S, the I road, N, the I road, a gypsy dress, W, the I road, quest, no, a creature of God is here, carrying a blazing torch on the I road, excellent work, Vanon, a creature of God exclaims to you, on behalf of all the religious folk, thank you again, it's good for the others to see fresh faces around here, all parts of your quest are complete, return to your quest master in time to receive your reward, a creature of God traces a sigil in the air in front of you, flames explode around your body, yet a you fairy no dragon stops following you. you, to turn in your quest, type quest complete 1389, you have completed a part of your quest, you have completed a phase of the quest, the Mason of Valley. Quest. Complete. 9. 1389. You have completed your quest of four towers. A preacher of God tells you congratulations on the completion of thy quest. Vanon, a preacher of God tells you as a reward for thy valor, I am awarding you one quest points and thirty practices. You have gained the mark of orienteering. A preacher of God hands you a tome of experience. A tome of experience emits a bright flare of white light as it shines with you. Cool. So, evidently got a lot of experience tomes, and um, that's basically Your fire shield sputters like... and goes out. To um, that's what it's basically like to uh, to run around this um this world and do quests and there's different creatures that have different jobs for you like going to different places or killing different creatures or delivering items or um, uh, doing you know things like that and they have these little storylines and there's little um you know tasks you can do that are um. Uh, little mini games like going to kill the crab and stuff like that. So, um, so there's a lot of of things you can do in this world, and it's very rich and detailed. And um, I think it's probably the closest you can get to an MMO RPG uh, as a blind person at this moment in time, because uh, there's about sixty people on I think right now. I'm not exactly sure how to um, look. Uh, maybe I can type who. who? Material Magica, current players online, dot, 60, 60 F human price of... Yep, so there's 60 players online right now. And let's see how many are in the um, relay that I'm in for visually impaired. Rail usage, relay less number chat room or list greater less message greater. If you have a default chat room relay, you do not need to specify number chat room. Type help chat for more information. Help. help. Chat. Chat. 1389 chat name chat information on how to use the material magic chat rooms relay information on the relay command which allows a player to send messages to relay chat rooms from anywhere in the game synopsis chat enter chat exit chat list less chat room name or wildcard match greater chat create less chat room name greater chat info chat join less name of chat room greater less password greater chat invite less name greater chat kick less name greater chat man less name greater chat set chat set flag less flag name greater chat set upper yeah, there's all the different commands there chat info well as some other information such as the flags and the limit in that room flags are listed below and the uh, chat info usage chat info less chat room name greater chat info less chat room name greater names if you are in the chat room no chat room name is needed if you are not in the chat room you must specify a chat room from which you are currently relaying type help chat for more information okay whatever i'm gonna go ahead and just relay rel hello hello 12 people in numbers is impaired heard you relay hello so there's 12 people in this relay room uh that are visually impaired and there's uh, it just told me that there are 12 people and um, they're all uh, other people using um, uh, these uh, either VIP mud or mush client or maybe some other um, uh, uh, client I don't know about but um, yeah if you ever have problems you can just relay there and there's a lot of people on so I can go ahead and return to the um, the uh, the 
shrine and um yeah that's uh materia magica recal a swelling vortex of sounds of energy and frequency shine of sd my start free a structure